Today in sports, acceleration training for kids and speed training for football are extremely popular. But does it truly matter in football, especially at the youth level? Yeah, how? What's up, YouTube? It's Scotty Sports Performance with another YouTube video for today. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our Facebook page at Scotty Sports Performance and our blog, which the URL will be in the, the description. Football is becoming one of the more popular sports on earth, but yet we don't understand the use of speed in the game. A lot of coaches will say, well, we need you to get down the field or we need to be faster, faster, faster. But faster at what, bro? Speed is great in sports, but you gotta know why you're using it and what for. But first we will have to define that it's not pure speed that you're looking for or track athletes will be the best players. Well, football is a game that being just straight line fast is just a part of the issue. This is why most speed trainers and training are kind of useless. It's great to be fast, but once again, you, you have to know where you're going. Do you know how to utilize and get the best out of your speed? Most people don't, and that's why they are in trouble when it's time to play. What you are looking for to improve in football is called acceleration, lateral and multi-directional speed as well. Football is more than a straight line game and lots of, player get, lots of players get exposed on higher levels because they have never trained on other aspects of their speed. Acceleration is the ability to get out fast. A lot of coaches will say it's a great first step. Well, why is this important you say? This is extremely important for a while because it doesn't matter how much long speed you have if you're unable to get away from the person to begin with. Also, especially at a lineman position or a defensive position in the, trenches, in the trenches, you must be able to get there in an instant and have no wasted steps, whether it's going to get a defender to block or tackling a running back in the backfield. Lateral speed is, is the ability to go left and right quickly. This is obviously important for ball carriers as they are always trying to get away from a defender. Change of direction and agility fall under lateral speed. It is very important to be able to change direction quickly for a defender because as a ball carrier makes a move, you must be able to stop and go into the similar direction the ball carrier is. Multi-directional speed is important because most defenders are going back, then coming forward. So some defenders are going sideways to come forward. But ultimately, the game isn't played in straight lines. So knowing this, you must be able to go and find the correct angle to meet the ball carrier and bring them down. The final point is learning that situational speed is in football is important. A lot of people watch games and believe that these players are going 100% 100% of the time, but that could be further from the truth. It's physically impossible to be at full speed all game, but you must be smart when it's when, when you're moving at full speed. As a running back, you see some runners not really running full speed in the open field. The reason is, is done because they're trying to draw defenders to see if there's a lane for a cutback. A player that I definitely know does this is Le'Veon Bell. Bell has great vision and has a great awareness where his blockers are and he's able to get defenders to come towards him but also play them into going into the blockers. Another way that situational speed is used is when a player is running a route. Coming out, of, coming out with good acceleration and just coasting allows you, to, allows you to lull a defender to sleep and make a move. This is how the savviest route runners get it done. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our Facebook page at Scotty Sports Performance. And also check out our blog, which the description will be in the description box underneath the video. But also, please, can you comment, comment, like, and also share your thoughts under, under the video. We would like to have more different ideas and hear what you guys have to say about the video. But until then, peace.